Who's sort of in charge, the best person to speak to? What's it referring to? Flying a drone. Um... Hey there. Come on, come on. Hiya guys, uh, thank you for watching. We're here today at Helix Park in Grangemouth, Scotland. Now, I am here for a very specific reason today, but first, for those of you that haven't heard of the Helix before, let me just briefly tell you what this place is. The, the Helix is a land transformation project which was to improve connections between and around 16 communities in Falkirk Council, including the eastern end of the Forth and Clyde Canal, and to regenerate the area near where the canal joins the River Carron. The most visible feature of the development is the two unique sculptures known as the Kelpies. And by the looks of this poster here, you can get tours which will take you inside the sculptures. Over here we've got, um, these are electric assisted bikes. Uh, these actually go all the way to the east towards little town Bones, all the way to the west, I think into Falkirk somewhere. So um, you can go quite far, you can see here the prices, day paths, monthly pass, and I think you just get an app on your phone. They've got these uh, charging docking stations dotted all around the region, so when you're finished using it, there's always somewhere close by to just drop it off and leave it. So today is a very, very cold January morning, which is why there's so many of these bikes sitting here. If you go around during the summertime, it's actually really pretty hard to get one. Uh, they're, they're usually all gone. But there they are. Got little baskets on front. Yeah, very cool. And we've just got the public bus stop for the park. And oh, here we go. This is the reason I'm here today. The Helix apparently is a no drone zone. Well, I'm here today to potentially see about that because as far as I'm aware, this is a public park operated and maintained by Falkirk Council. There is no CAA restrictions over this area. You know, you can't fly near, like too close to airports. You can't fly over prisons and you know, there's a drone app available which drone pilots use to know if there is any restrictions to fly in the area that they're at. And the point is, is there's, there's no restrictions here at all. Nothing set out by the Civil Aviation Authority. And I've tried to film the Kelpies about two years ago. Came here and uh, I got chased away. <laughs> I didn't get to uh, finish my film. Well, I'm back today with a more smaller drone, a small drone that should be fully, like, flying here is completely lawful to take photography, to do video, it's in public. Uh, let's have a look at the canal here. So this is part of the Union Canal. See the kelpies down there in the distance. So this is the canal lock system, uh, which effectively allows a boat to move up or downhill. Um, got the life raft over here, in case someone falls in. You'll be all right with that, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so you've got the lock system here. It just allows, you know, the water between, for those that don't know, allows the water between the two gates to raise or lower and it allows boats to uh, continue moving. If it was unlocked, you would be able to pull that, push that, the gates would open, boat would come in to the middle between the two gates and then you would drain the water, lower the water so that it could come out at the other end. That's how it would get downhill towards where the kelpies are in the distance, which is where we're going to go now. 
I notice the water's actually completely frozen over here in this section. It is still running a little bit up there, but all of this right in front of me is frozen solid. But you see it's still left like the shape, like the contours of the the waves and that, what do you call that, white white froth? I don't know what the name is, but that white frothy stuff that you get and it, yeah, it looks cool all frozen like that. <laughs> And here's another one, the helix is a no drone zone and you'll notice there's no laws printed on these these posters, these signs with the drones on them, it doesn't say like, you know, in the small print underneath, in compliance with any kind of law, there's no bylaws that are printed on it or anything, so as far as I'm aware at the moment, these are just, like I say, you're not breaking any laws, you're not doing anything wrong, it's a public park. So this is more just like a, a friendly request, perhaps. But I think by putting these signs around, it wasn't a friendly quest when I got chased away two years ago. But like, in fact, speak of the devil, there's a park ranger over there, park keeper, whatever you want to call them. That's their, that is an official Helix Park patrol van. But yeah, I mean, I guess what, Pees me off a little bit. I guess what annoys me is the fact that by displaying those typey signs for people that don't know, it, it creates the impression that it's like a law, that you're actually doing something wrong or you're breaking the law if you were to fly any kind of drone in this park. And, and that's simply not true. Because as far as I'm aware, Falkirk Council do not own the airspace. Basically, the laws that I need to abide by as a drone pilot are governed by the Civil Aviation Authority and not any local councils. Unless, of course, there's any specific bylaws already in place which would prevent me. Anyway, let's uh, have a little look over here the now at the, the canal because it is so frosty and icy right now and it's the middle of January and we've had no snow over Christmas or anything this year um, which you know being in Scotland you normally get quite a bit of snow over the winter but here we are middle of January and this is the the first we've seen and although I don't like the cold very much I don't like the cold at all I'm, I'm the worst ever but um, it does look pretty it does look nice and it does make a change from the usual grey wet wind <laughs> and yeah it's actually very calm today it's actually perfect drone flying weather because i think the wind at the moment is two kilometers per hour which is basically n nothing you can't even feel a breeze some of these boats over here look like they've uh, been here a while shall we say <laughs> well and i see we've got some kind of group leaving away over there probably some just tourists or locals that have just had the tour and that is the visitor center there in the background which has got like a cafe and a shop inside so i think what we'll do is is we'll just do one walk around the back of the kelpies have a little look on foot and then we'll go into the visitor center to let them know that we will be flying a drone today <laughs> and see what they say. And here we've got uh, more boats parked along the side. We've got like a mix of your traditional style boats and uh, barges, yeah. And of course on the right here is the Kelpies. Looks like there's only one from this angle, but as you've seen already, there is actually two. Now I'll give you some information off the Kelpie's website, official website. It says, standing at 100 feet tall and weighing more than 300 tons each, the magical Kelpies are a man-made feat of engineering. The works of art created by artist Andy Scott have become iconic on the landscape after being modelled on real-life icons of times gone by. Clydesdale Horses, Duke and Baron. The Kelpies represent the lineage of the heavy horse of the Scottish industry and economy. 
pulling the wagons, the ploughs, the barges and coal ships that shaped the geographical layout of Falkirk. It also says here that you can visit the Kelpies free of charge any time of the day, 365 days a year due to the prime location in Helix Park. The area around the massive sculptures has been designed to give access for all, meaning everyone can come and enjoy them up close. And we do intend to enjoy them up close, especially once we get this drone up in the air. Because as you may or may not know, because it is a sub 250 gram drone, there is actually no restrictions on like uh, how close you can fly to structures. So it's basically up to the pilot what you think is a safe distance. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to get some really good shots today. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Well, yeah, I can tell you standing here and looking up at them like this, they do feel pretty bloody huge. They are big, like. Um, I can see what looks like doors at the bottom of these, which I'm presuming, if you get the tour, that's the whole point in the tour, you get to go in these doors and have a look at the structures from inside. So, there seems to be a hole here, I will have a little look, see if we can see anything. So... I could get my 360 camera out and stick it through there and have a look, but I can't be bothered digging it out of my bag. I think you get the gist. It's just basically the structure from inside. It doesn't look like anything too fancy. So we'll take a walk over here. Another like lock system. So that's quite cool. I like how you can uh, walk over these and the fact that the the canal actually Okay, let's see, it's still all icy here. Yeah, so the canal actually runs in between the two kelpies and Ooh, out the other side. That's cool. Hello, Pooch. So, um, yeah, same again. Wow. And it's a beautiful day today. This is just not what we're used to at all. I mean, it, it, the, the sky is so clear, not a cloud in the sky. It looks like a beautiful hot summer's day, apart from the, the patches of ice lying around. It's actually zero degrees at the moment. It's about half past ten in the morning. I think when it gets to 11 o'clock, it's supposed to reach like two degrees. So yeah, it's, it's, it's freezing cold, but it still looks uh, really nice on camera. But yeah, as for the Kelpies, these are the angles, these are the shots that everybody who's interested in them has seen a million times before. So let's uh, get over to the visitor center, let them know my intentions today. Because I didn't spend all this money on a drone with a nice camera to have it sitting in my bag all the time. See, like here, Rani. See if you like look away down there. Oh. See, that's all got to be public. Mm. That goes all the way down to residential houses, not like so. If they say to you, like, oh, you're not allowed to film the, film the drone here. Oh. There's got to be a boundary somewhere where it stops being their park and it's like public. You know what I mean? They, they can't say that they own the whole path away down there into the distance. I think it's going to be through wherever like the sign started. You know where we got at the car. To wherever the sign started saying no drones to basically wherever it finishes down here. Hey, Dad! So, like, you can really, like, fly, yes. fly in here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think legally I can, uh -huh. but because they've got signs saying don't, oh. it would just be like, it'd be, like rude to sort of like, yeah. it's, rather than like, it being like, just. already seen it and just ignore it. Plus, they've got, like, they'll say permission as well. Yeah. You're like reckless. Yeah, but that's no lawful though. That's maybe that. 
They maybe don't want you to, and they're maybe asking you to do certain things, but you, you don't. Do you want to come here so I can take a picture of you? Just walk around there. Yeah, yeah, I'll be better. Well, um, that's a shame because I could actually dig <laughs> a hot drink right now. I'd love a coffee right now. It's only it's just a camera. Oh, just for myself. Yeah, I do put some stuff up on YouTube, but it's a bit. I usually do the drone and stuff, but I notice you're not allowed to fly a drone. Well, they've got signs saying. Don't you're waiting fly, on the don't. tour at the half hour, son. You're getting it for nothing all the way through January. Oh, really? You just go in and get a ticket at the desk in the, oh. in, in the actual building. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I've got half it. Half yeah. eleven, half one, and half two. Oh, that's every cool. Every day until the end of the month. Oh, buddy, yeah, not bad, not bad. Right. Nice one, thanks for letting me know. Anyway. Thank you. Hmm, so that woman was saying that it was normally a paid tour, but you're getting it free at the moment. Um, I don't know if they want to give me a free tour when I announce that I'll potentially fly my drone. Anyway, here's some. Here's the mini kelpies. Many ones there, big ones there. Five minutes later. Okay, so I'm just double checking the drone assist app here that it is 100% fine to fly, that there's no restrictions in place. And it is showing me there's a couple of warning signs for the power cables, the power lines that are nearby, but no actual restrictions. See, we're in a, notice we're standing in the kelpies, we're in the yellow zone. There's some yellow zones indicate regions we're operation of. Your drone may raise security, privacy or safety concerns. Right, okay, here goes nothing. Let's uh, ask to speak to whoever's in charge so that, as a courtesy, we can let them know our intentions to fly a drone today. Uh, who's the best, like, 
Who's sort of in charge, the best person to speak to? What's it referring to? Flying or drawing? Um, okay. I know, I know, it's, I know it's not allowed, but I've just got a couple of questions still regarding it. Like, I, I'm just curious, who actually like owns this area? Is it like council run or is it? Council. It is council run. So all these signs saying it's a no dr drone zone. Yep. It's not actually illegal to fly the drone then, no, correct? No, it's not. It's um. Because I was just trying to. A, there is certain laws and regulations which I can point you towards and I can remember like that. Do you know where the regulations that you have for drones are? I know that um, some drones are allowed and some are not. Yeah, because I've got a sub 250 gram drone. That one and a little one. Yeah, tiny ones. So you're alright with that then? It's not against the law, is it? Yeah, it's, it's still, you've got signs. I mean, I... I think the, the well, that's right. It's great that you've come in for us. I think it's for the bigger drones. For yeah, that's that's what I would imagine. Because even though I know it's not against the law, I'm still not going to just ignore your signs and then just do it anyway without speaking to someone. I don't know. Flex coming in. Yeah. It's perfectly legal to do it. It's perfectly legal to do it. It's... To do it. Okay. Just, yeah, just like, quite often you get huge. Yeah, I am professional. I've got my operator ID. I've got insurance. Uh, everything above board. Like, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. So you heard it here. I don't know how good. I got the conversation on video, but as it turns out, despite this place being a no drone zone, I have indeed got permission, even though I don't need it, to uh, fly the drone. So uh, that's what we came here for. Let's get it done. And that's it, job done. Well, they couldn't have been more sound actually. They were more than willing to let me go ahead, do what I needed to do. Uh. Right, we're off. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, I'll take her. <laughs> You're getting dumped over here. You're not coming with us. Yeah. 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 Who do you love, mommy or daddy? Who do you love, mommy? Daddy. Yay! Yay! <laughs>
Uh, you want to go in the hole? So we're going to put Kenzie in the hole. Go to put Kenzie in the hole. Go to put you 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 in the hole. Get in the hole. <laughs> So that's it guys, well, a lot less confrontation than what I was expecting, what I was getting worried about, but hey, it's better that it went like that, uh, everyone was friendly, the guy was sound, uh, didn't attempt to stop me at all, he's like, yeah, like you said, it's not illegal, on you go. So um, yeah, thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I might, I might do more things like this, you know, now that I know... I can film places that in the past I thought that I couldn't. I might go out and do more videos of interesting places that you would think you probably can't fly a drone, but <laughs> in fact you can. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, thank you very much. Take care. Stay excellent to each other. So cute. It's actually working here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't climb on the sculpture, it says. Please do not climb on the sculpture. Kenzie, you're not supposed to climb on the sculpture. Stop climbing, you get in trouble. This one, okay, you can climb on that one. All right, go on then. Go on then. Green. Yeah, it's green, yes. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Hey, ya. Hey, ya, baby. You going on the slide? Yeah, a big slide. You going on the swing? Go. Right, go. Careful, careful. The whole point has been updated. Please check it out the map. Thank <laughs> you.